All right, guys, we bought a lot of cool stuff today. We're gonna do a quick walkthrough, kind of tell you your prices, kind of tell you our thought process, and uh, just show you what we got today. All right, guys, so we bought a lot of really cool stuff here. This is the NBA Showtime with the 49-way joysticks, and it actually has the Blitz 2000 Gold on it. So it's an NBA Showtime combo cab, uh, but it is a dedicated NBA Showtime. Uh, which will probably actually convert just to an NBA Showtime, pay $13.50 for it, good price, awesome. This is one of those room cabinets that we're buying for parts, monitors, PCBs, you name it, uh, awesome. Uh, this one is branded X-Men vs. Street Fighter, had kind of a random fighting game in it uh, that we honestly uh, are super pumped about because it's from the same people who made Gal's Panic 2, one of our favorite YouTube videos we've ever made. And then here I'm gonna squeeze through, I'm gonna check this stuff out. All right, this was our Atari Centipede. I think we paid 700 bucks for it. Honestly, I can't tell. We might have paid more, 975 even. Uh, bidding against some of our rivals, but this is the best centipede I've ever seen. It's one of the, it's just amazing. Uh, you can see through there, we have a Return of the Jedi, ultra rare, still has 1985, 86 arcade tags on it. Super rare, working condition, won't take too much to get it on the floor. And honestly, we've been really trying to get an Atari Star Wars next to that Atari Return of the Jedi. Uh, raster game, really awesome, really rare. I think we paid $1,400 or $1,300, great price. Uh, we've got a Speed Up Miss Pack. We paid $725 for, good price in really good condition. This should be one of the Varooms. It's a Data East cab. Yeah, one of the Varooms. Paid $275 for it, great purchase, boards, monitor. It's just, it's so many parts that it's an, just insane value. Uh, Double Dragon in good shape. Uh, we have a Double Dragon out. I've kind of thrown some shade at Double Dragon in the past, but it is a game that people see. They walk up and it gets them into the arcade mode. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to put it next to another really cool beat em up and kind of convert players. But in the meantime, I mean, Double Dragon is historically cool. All right, so this is our dedicated Turtles that is, uh, it's rough. It paid $12.50 for it, but it has all original sticks, mostly original buttons, um, and overall was playing in okay shape, uh, which is why we got it for $12.50. It's a great deal. Uh, next to the Dig Dug, which was in a little, uh, the joystick was a little rough, a little too stiff, uh, but ultimately, uh, one of the all-time classics that it was in really good working shape, we'll be able to bring it back. Really awesome. Over here, it's hard to kind of picture, hard to get on the camera, but we've got a Soul Calibur 3 in that dedicated Tekken 5, uh, Tekken Dark Resurrection cabinet, um, which was also apparently a dedicated Soul Calibur 3 cabinet. So, I mean, just another one of the awesome things we purchased. We picked up some awesome parts, a uh, Crazy Climber board for $20, I think, or $50. Really, really awesome deals. This is a dual screen play choice. We bought 10 cartridges. Some of the cartridges have been reburned and stuff, so they had different games than they actually said. But in general, just the 10 blank cartridges would be worth that $7.25 price back. Uh, top monitor was pretty good. Bottom monitor wasn't too bad. Uh, and honestly, I, we probably would have paid $1,000 or $1,200 for this. So really pumped. Dual screen, Play Choice 10. Uh, absolutely gonna either be used for parts or you're gonna see it at one of the arcades. And uh, the cartridges were, were great. So good purchase, good value. Uh, pretty excited about it. So if you're watching this on the internet, you're not gonna be surprised to learn this breakout does not work. We got it for $225. It is an original Atari breakout cab. That's the original like brick breaking game where you had the ball at the bottom, you had a paddle, and you just broke bricks. It was basically like the obvious sequel to Pong. Um, and we have a couple different versions of this in our collection that are the original Atari releases. Uh, but basically, anytime we get a chance to buy a cabinet like this, we're gonna try to scoop it up. And 225 was such a good price. It's complete on the inside. We felt really good about the monitor and the, the game quality. So we went ahead and bought it. Um, I would bet Within two years of watching this, we'll either have a breakout or a super breakout on our floor. So if, if you're two years from wherever we're recording this uh, and I, we don't have one out, remind me that we need to because it's a great game and it's a great piece of history. Really, really awesome deals. Um, this is seriously one of my favorite auctions ever and I'm, I'm super pumped with both the cabinets we bought, but the, you know, the parts and also we made sure that no one got anything too cheap today. Uh, we were ready doing our jobs to make sure that if anyone got a deal, it was us. And I, I really feel like uh, this is seriously one of the best auctions we've ever had. Thanks, guys.